I hope you are all safe and well as you witness this live broadcast of SM Prime Holdings 2021 Annual Stockholders Meeting. It was not so long ago when we first had our annual gathering via virtual conference setup. And we hope that in the near future, we'll get to see everyone again, up close and personal, feeling secure and well. The year 2020 has brought a different kind of challenge, not only to our company, but to the entire world as the spread of COVID-19 has led to the implementation of strict safety protocols in every country that restricted the mobility of people and closure of borders. The Philippines was not spared from this situation as the national government imposed community quarantines that required closure of all public and private establishments to contain the spread of the virus. We at SM immediately adhered to the safety measures implemented by the government and extended aid to various institutions, public and private, as well as to our employees and extended workforce. While the year 2020 has disrupted the consistent year-on-year -year growth of your company, our balanced portfolio of malls, residential projects, offices, hotels and convention centers that are strategically located across the country has allowed us to maintain our operations amidst the economic difficulties. In 2020, your company reported 18 billion pesos in consolidated net income. This is on the back of 81.9 billion pesos achievement in consolidated revenue. SM Prime's primary residential business segment, led by SM Development Corporation, posted 46.5 billion revenue, accounting for 58% of consolidated revenue. Operating income of SMBC amounted to 19.7 billion, 16% higher than the previous year. Through safe and innovative ways of bridging our customers here and abroad, SMDC's reservation sales recorded a 10% growth to 99 billion in 2020. This is a testament to our strategy of pursuing sustainable development that provides equal growth opportunities to our businesses. Meanwhile, our mall business segment which was taken aback by safety and mobility restrictions, accounted for 34% of SM Prime's 2020 consolidated revenues and recorded 28.3 billion pesos revenue. SM Prime offices, with majority of its tenants being in the BPO-related industry, continued to operate at an optimal level and contributed 4.8 billion pesos revenues in the same period under review. While SM Prime's hotel business added 1.6 billion revenue as our hotels remain open for accommodation needs of BPO workers as well as temporary shelter for returning overseas Filipino workers. At the onset of strict community quarantines in the Philippines in March 2020, your company, together with the whole SM Group, worked hand-in-hand in, hand in administering assistance to various stakeholders, civic and medical societies, to fight this global pandemic. Aside from financial aid, your company has also rendered support to various government agencies by providing venues for testing and quarantine, as well as opportunities to local entrepreneurs and farmers to reach out to their customers. With the extended strict community quarantines in key areas in the Philippines, such as Metro Manila, Bulacan, Rizal, and Laguna, we are continuously assisting our business partners, most especially our mall tenants, 
who are badly affected by this community quarantine. As of December 2020, SM Prime has extended rental concessions amounting to 23 billion pesos to our mall tenants. These challenges and risks that your company faces are being taken care of by the dynamic and highly experienced management team with high standards of corporate governance, having been recently recognized as a Golden Arrow Awardee by the Institute of Corporate Directors. We hope that through this milestone, we are able to further gain your trust and confidence as we continue to exemplify good governance and sustainable development. To further optimize our operations and keep up with the changing needs and aspirations of our customers, we have likewise streamlined organizational structures and back office processes, promoting online collaborations, trainings, and seminars to ensure the safety and well-being of our employees who continue to provide operational support to the businesses. We accelerated going into the digital space with the introduction of SM Mall online app where customers can safely buy from SM Mall tenants to their mobile gadgets. For those who choose to visit our SM Malls, SM Prime ensures minimum health and safety protocols are observed within the mall premises. In addition, we have launched Trace Together, a generic mobile tracing tool for all our properties, complementing the tracing program of the national government. Alongside our triumph in our operations and corporate governance, your company continuously practices sustainable operations, mindful of the business impact to the environment. In our efforts to lower our operations carbon footprint, SM Prime embarked on a five-year program to diversify its energy source portfolio. Your co company will gradually move to energy sources that have less environmental impact and more, and eco more economical and reliable at the same time. This year, your company presents the first integrated report that translates our business cycle into a concise, thorough, and transparent document for your appreciation, combining both financial and non-financial information into one report. Aptly titled, Inspiring Resilience, it highlights how the company remained productive even through times of crisis by keeping our businesses stable, supporting our partners, and continually contributing to nation building with both government and community assistance. Our chairman of the executive committee, Mr. Han Si, who was the first Filipino who sat at the United Nations Disaster Risk Reduction Private Sector Advisory Board, and ARISE, the Private Sector Alliance for Resilient Societies, is himself at the forefront of our disaster resiliency program. When we keep our hopes high, with the ongoing vaccination program in our country to eradicate the virus soon, SM Prime has committed to donate a portion of vaccine doses we have procured for our employees to support the government's vaccination program. I believe that we should all work together and help one another so we can rise above the challenges the COVID-19 pandemic has brought to us. In closing, allow me to express my appreciation and utmost thanks to our stakeholders who stayed with us and continuously support all our endeavors despite a challenging year. Together with the employees and board of directors of SM Prime, who are committed to serve you all in a safe, reliable, and enjoyable way, we wish that we will be all together again soon as we look forward 
to better days ahead. To our board of directors, most especially to our three outgoing independent directors, Mr. Jose L. Pisa Jr., Mr. Gigario Kilaiko, uh, and Mr. Joselito Ibaya. Please know that we will always be grateful for the <clears throat> years of service you have rendered here in SM Prime. The wisdom and knowledge you have shared with us will always be a huge part of the company that has grown into one of the leading integrated property developers in Southeast Asia. To the C family, thank you for the kindness and generosity you have shown not only to the employees of the SM Group, but also to various people across different sectors in our country this past year. You have been a constant inspiration to a lot of Filipinos around the world, always ready to offer a helping hand. Let's continue staying safe and consider the challenges of the past year as motivation to deliver better and stronger. Again, good afternoon to everyone and thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. The annual report and the 2020 audited financial statements of the company are being presented for approval. Mr. Secretary, please announce the result of voting. Yes, Mr. Chair. Based on the tally of votes, 99.89% voted in favor of the 2020 annual report and the, and the 2020 audited financial statements. Thank you. The motion is carried. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we had a board meeting earlier today, and I'm pleased to announce that your board has approved the declaration of cash dividend. The approval. The board. The board approval dividends of eight point. 2% of 2020 net income or 0 0.082 pesos per share. The amount is in favor of all stockholders of record as of May 5, 2021, and payable on May 19, 2021. Now, could you go back? The next item in the agenda is the ratification of the acts of the Board of Directors and Management during their term. The summary of these acts are found in the definitive information statements sent to all shareholders. Mr. Secretary, please announce the voting results. Yes, Mr. Chair. As tabulated, 99.85% voted in favor of the ratification of the acts of the Board and of Management during their term. Thank you. The acts of the board and management are hereby ratified. The next item in the agenda is the election of, of directors for 2021 to 2022. May we request our chairman of the Corporate Governance Committee, Mr. Joselito Sebayan, to please read the names of the nominees we qualify to be elected to the board. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The Corporate Governance Committee has pre-qualified the following nominees for election to the board for 2021-2022. One, Mr. Henry T.C. Jr. Two, Mr. Hans T.C. Three, Mr. Herbert T.C. Four, Mr. George T. Mendiola. Five, Mr. Jeffrey C. Lim. For independent directors, six would be Ms. Darlene Marie B. Beberabe. Seven, Mr. Armando M. Tetanco, Jr. And eight, Mr. J. Carlitos G. Cruz. 
Thank you, Mr. Sibaya. Mr. Secretary, do you have the voting result? Yes, Mr. Chair. Flash on the screen are the votes garnered by each of the nominees. Since there are only eight nominees, and with the votes received, all the nominees have obtained sufficient votes for their election. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Congratulations to the newly elected members of the board, especially to our new di independent directors. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank our outgoing independent directors for their invaluable and dedicated services to our company all these years. They have been with us as the company grew into one of the most successful companies in the country. On behalf of the SM Prime family, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Let us now hear a few words from Mr. Husselito Sibai. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm very thankful to the C family, to the shareholders, and to management and staff for this opportunity to be part of SM Prime's evolution into the Philippines' largest listed company by market cap. There are three milestones I can cite where SM Prime exhibited the hallmarks of a great company. These attributes are strategic thinking and execution, focus on operational efficiencies and excellence, and concern for all our stakeholders. When the SM Group merged all its property businesses under SM Prime eight years ago, it was a major strategic move that propelled SM Prime to be one of the largest and most relevant property developers in Southeast Asia. When SM Prime became the first one trillion peso listed company in the Philippines four years ago, it was a manifestation of its focus on operational excellence and efficiencies. Over the past 13 months of this pandemic, SM Prime was at the forefront of helping its employees, tenants, and communities to cope with surviving the market decline. Many tenants I talked to are thankful that SM Prime has taken the industry leadership with regard to condone rentals, albeit painful for us, e-commerce-based marketing initiatives, and other support and relief efforts. While Ambassador Joey Quisha, Kiki Kilaiko, and myself are exiting SM Prime in a down year, we are very confident that SM Prime is well positioned with, with its outstanding officers and staff, the support of its stakeholders, and its corporate governance practices to rebound back to our usual double-digit annual growth rates. To Darlene Berberade, Itos Cruz, and Governor Saitetanko, welcome to SM Prime as our new independent directors. Thank you, Mr. Sibayan. May we now hear from our dear Mr. Kilaiko. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. In 1994, SM Prime went public, making it possible for investors from small ones like many of us to very large, sophisticated foreign funds to own this truly marvelous company, once dubbed as one of the best listed stocks in Asia. Indeed, I'm very much honored to have been appointed in 2008 as one of its independent directors. Now that I am stepping down as a board member, I wish to thank the C family for this once in a lifetime privilege. I do miss Tatang Henry C. Sr., whose vision and drive transformed what was once a small shoe store into one of the most admired and dominant Philippine conglomerate. No doubt the SM Group has uplifted in a sustainable way the economic status of main, many Filipinos. I wish to thank our chairman, Big Boy C, whose big ideas, seemingly impossible when written in a yellow pad, have become realities. I also wish to thank Hans C, the chairman of the executive committee 
who with his sharp engineering mind directed and constructed more than 70 world-class shopping malls and then oversaw their operation. Hans' attention to details is so impressive that he seems to know every nook and cranny in every mall. I also wish to thank our board advisor, Tessie C. Cosson. Her relentless drive to succeed and be dominant has guided SM Prime and other SM companies to achieve fantastic growth. I also want to thank my fellow director, Herbert C., who with his deep understanding of retailing and food merchandising, yes, we all know his famous Toron, has probably provided invaluable input, inputs to this company's success. And also to Betty and Harley C. for always supporting our board and sharing their expertise in hotel management, merchandising, and strategic planning. To all my fellow board members, thank you. To Ambassador Joy Quisha, who was personally handpicked by Henry C. Sr. to be the first independent director of SM Prime, for 27 years, you have provided wisdom and guidance to his children in managing this business. And to the management of SM Prime, headed by its president, Jeffrey Lim, I thank you all for your hard work and dedication in making SM Prime the first trillion peso company and truly world class. Thank you to a very appreciative Mr. Kilaiko. Finally, let's hear from our lead independent director, Ambassador Jose Quisha Jr. Hello, shareholders. Good afternoon to all of you. It has been a great honor and invaluable learning experience to have served as independent director of SM Prime Holdings for the past 27 years. I cherish most the deep friendship which I developed with Mr. Henry C. Sr endearingly called Tatang, who invited me to join the board of SM Prime in 1994 after I had stepped down as Central Bank Governor. His memory will forever be etched in my heart because of his business acumen, incredible work ethic, clarity of vision, simplicity, humility, and compassion for the poor, which inspire beyond words. Tatang's legacy lives on in his children who are decisive leaders, promote value-driven management, and espouse pragmatic, stick to the needing, stay with the business you know philosophy. My fellow shareholders, we have seen the phenomenal growth of SM Prime, which in 1994 had 2.26 billion in revenues, 1 billion in net income, and 15.4 billion in total assets. By 2019, that's a year before the pandemic hit, the company's revenue had grown 51 times larger to an astonishing amount of 116 billion, 38 billion in net income or 38 times, and 667 billion pesos or 43 times in terms of total assets. Today, SM Prime, the second largest company in the Philippine stock exchange in terms of market capitalization, being only one of two companies, the other being SM Investments, whose market cap has exceeded 1 trillion pesos. Thanks to the dedication and hard work of its employees, the professionalism and total commitment of management, and the wise counsel and judicious leadership of the board. I am especially privileged to have worked with two other fellow independent directors, Mr. Gregorio, Gregorio Igi Kilaiko and Mr. Joselito Lito Sibayan, as well as other board members whose integrity, dynamism, and commitment are unquestionable. As lead independent director, I can attest to the excellent working relationship between the board members, particularly the independent directors and management. We feel that our views and guidance have been valued and respected by management, and for that, we are truly grateful. 2020 was a devastating year for business and economy, but it also illuminated our organization's true character of genuine concern for employees and all stakeholders whose safety and well-being overrode profit considerations. 
then and now, the SM Group generously assists many needy Filipinos and communities. And when we have the head for business, as well as the heart for people, as our, our slogan declares, and I quote, we've got it all for you, unquote. In the years ahead, I'm certain SM Prime's unparalleled growth and profitability will scale even greater heights. In particular, I congratulate and sincerely thank Board Chair Henry C. Senior, Henry C. Jr., Excom Chair Hans C., Tessie C. and Betty C., Board Advisors, and the rest of the C family, as well as President Jeffrey Lim for making me part of this remarkable journey. I also welcome our new independent directors, incoming independent directors, Ms. Darlene Berberade, uh, Governor Saita Tanko, and Mr. Carlitos uh, Cruz. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Ambassador Quisha, for those kind words. And again, thank you to, the, uh, to our three outgoing independent directors. We now proceed to the appointment of external auditor. The auditor committee pre-screen and process nominations for external auditors and recommends the appointment of SVB as external auditor for 2021. Mr. Secretary, please announce the voting results. Yes, Mr. Chair. Based on the tally of votes, stockholders owning shares representing 96.3% voted in favor of SGB's appointment as external auditor. Thank you. SGB is therefore reappointed as external auditor for the company for 2021. We now proceed with the question and answer portion for today's meeting. All stockholders were allowed to submit questions via email and chat box. Again, we thank you for participating. We will now answer your questions. For those not addressed this afternoon, our investor relation team, as mentioned, will endeavor to answer relevant questions via email. We now proceed with the questions and answer portion for today's proceeding. Mr. Secretary, please read some of the questions received. Yes, Mr. Chair. The first question is from Mr. Anthony Gilbert Antiquera, and it reads, Would SM Prime open new malls this year? Uh, thank you, Mr. Antiquera, for that question. Uh, subject to local government units, guidelines, and prevailing quarantine classifications, we intend to launch uh, three new malls this year. That will be SMCT Diet, SMCT Roja City, and SMCT Grand Central. These three malls will add more than 170,000 square meters of gross floor area to our portfolio. Thank you. The next question was sent by Mr. Martin Gerald Hugo. The residential projects are selling well, much better than the projects of other developers. To what do you credit this? Do you think this level of demand will persist? Our residential product products are priced affordably and have good design by specialized designer worldwide. That's why this remains attractive for our target market, the middle income segment. The efforts of our sales team and sales agents, even at the onset of the pandemic, also contributed to the growth of our reservation sales, which global buyers, including overseas Filipino workers, have accounted for 56% of our reservation sales in 2020. Uh, launches, on the other hand, will also depend on the allowable construction capacity uh, under the IATF rules, as well as local government units guidelines. Uh, I think to date, 
uh, as we speak, construction capacity is at six, uh, 75 percent. So we will continue to uh, do our launching in 2020, uh, subject to government guidelines. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Mr. Chair, Mr. President, we also have live stream question from the chat box. This question that I will read is from Johan Stephen McDowell. It says, what is your company's prefix for 2021 and where will you allot this budget? Thank you for sending that question. Uh, as of now, we have allocated uh, 80 billion pesos for KPEX in 2021. Of course, this is uh, subject to uh, review uh, every quarter uh, given the current situation, uh, but this will be primarily be used for mall and residential development as well as strategic land banking activities. Thank you. Mr. Chair, I will now read the last question for this open forum. It was posted in the chat box by Mary Rose Notaudio. The question reads, what's the vaccine rollout plan for the group in? Okay. The SM Group has procured vaccines for its employees, and a portion of this will go to the government in support of its vaccination program. Our employees have signed up for our vaccination program voluntarily, and we will be rolling out these vaccines as soon as it is available. Also, uh, recently, the SM Super Mall began its multi-mall vaccination drive as it inks partnership with various LGUs nationwide to be the venue for their COVID-19 vaccination program. SM is closely coordinating with more LGUs as it is slated to roll out more vaccination centers nationwide to help expedite the administration of COVID-19 vaccines and minimize the spread of the virus. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Chair, those are all the questions we have. Thank you, and thank you, Jeff. Mr. Secretary, is there any I other items in the agenda? No other matter, Mr. Chair. Thank you. There being no other matters in the agenda, could we now adjourn the meeting? Thank you very much for joining this stockholders meeting and for all the guests that join us this afternoon. Stay safe, everybody. Congratulations, Mr. Chairman. Congratulations to Mr. President. Very well-run meeting. Thank you. Yeah, well done, well done. Stay safe, everyone. Okay, Thank bye. You. Bye. Thank you.